Alright guys, so look, on this video, I'm gonna break down how to make a million dollars, so you definitely wanna make sure that you tap in, man. Alright guys, I got a pre-text community. Make sure you join 213-410-4920. 213-410-4920. Why should I join? Well, you should join to get access to free marketing trainings each and every week. Also, I bring guests on. I have uh, inspirational, motivational text messages that go out. And also, I mean, it's my community and it's free, so why wouldn't you want to join? So definitely make sure that you do that. And uh, the number again is 213-410-4920. And I'll see you guys in the episode. All right, guys, so on this episode, I'm going to break down how to make a million dollars courtesy of a book I recently read, Renegade Millionaire. And it's seven steps to be a renegade millionaire. And if you apply these seven steps, these will help you get on a path of making your first million dollars or in some cases, maybe multi-million dollars, depending on if you implement these strategies or if you currently have a strategy and maybe these strategies are something that can help you up your game, all right? So I'm going to break down the seven um, steps to being a renegade millionaire and how you can make your first million dollars or make multiple million dollars using these steps. All right, here we go. The first step is the power of organized effort. So what does that mean? What that means is this. A lot of you guys are going day to day, laissez faire, you don't have a plan, you don't time block, you kind of like to let the day take you, you're not really in control of your time. Well, you're wasting a lot of time and also wasting a lot of energy. You are probably getting things done. So, so don't let me say that you're probably not being productive and you're not making money, and you're not getting to where you need to go. You definitely may be doing that. But if you use organized effort, the power of organized effort, you could probably get to where you're going in half the time or have more time for you to do even more. So what is the power of organized effort? Well, that's actually having a strategy, implementing a strategy, working the strategy, Analyzing the strategy, looking at the data, what's working, what's not working, effectively time blocking, where's your time going each and every day? What are the 10 to 15 things that you need to get done that are going to move the needle in your business and how are you going to do that, right? You're in control, not your day, not anyone else, not distractions, you are in control. So if you use step one, the power of organized effort, that's gonna also help you get to your first million dollars. Now. Step number two is make maximum money. So what does it mean by making maximum money? Well, in some cases, a lot of us are underpriced. That means your $25 ebook should be $47. Your $37 ebook should be $47. Your $299 ebook should be $47, right? So just removing the fear of just pricing by that share example will help you sell more and make more. You're maximizing the amount of money you can make on this digital product that you once had for like 25 bucks. So think about it. If you sold one at 25, you're, you're basically making double the money by selling one at 47, right? So you're doing the same amount of work, but you're making double the money because you're just fixing the pricing. It also goes with other products and services. What, what if you're a coach? Okay, let's say you're a coach and you're charging $500 for a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, if you charge a thousand or two thousand for a one-on-one, -on -one, guess what? You're doing less one-on-ones, less time, but you're making two x, three x the money. So really, look at what you're pricing. Look at your products. Look at your service. Look at the marketplace. How do you fit in the marketplace? And how does your thing at the price point you're at? Is it under market? Is it right at market? Are you bringing more value? Do you got testimonies? Do you got reviews? Um, should you be priced more? And should you get out of your own way? Price yourself to the max so you can also get maximum money. And that's how you take advantage of step number two. Step number three, have big ideas. That's right, big ideas. So let me give you an example. Let's say your goal is to make 100,000. Well, why don't we change that goal to making a million? Let's say your goal is to grow your email list to 1,000. Why don't we just grow your email list to 10,000? Let's say your goal is to make 100 videos. What if you go, what if we change that goal to make 1,000 videos? Basically what I'm saying is, whatever you make your goal, whatever you make your goals, right, you're basically telling yourself that this is the number. So creatively and subconsciously, your mind is going to put together different pathways and different patterns on how you can get that. Well, if you thought bigger than that and beyond that, that thing that you want to get is now just a step along the way for you to getting the bigger thing. So you basically turn that small goal into, well, actually, well you essentially turn that goal into a small goal on the way to the big goal, 
right? So it's no longer like where you need to go. It's just a, a, a stop on the long of where you want to go. And as you're thinking this way and creating this way and putting this energy out there, you're able to bring abundance to you, right? And able to get to where you want to go and even beyond by just tweaking how you're thinking and fixing your goals or just thinking bigger. Like everything should be bigger, all right? And that's number three, that's step number three. All right, step number four, what is step number four? Take control of your time. What does that mean? Well, with so many distractions going on in the world today, from social media, to TV, to Netflix, to music, to your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents, teachers, whatever you got going on around you, with so much distractions, it's hard to stay focused. So if you're not in control of your time, you will literally let every little distraction steer you away from what your goal is for that 30 minutes or that hour or your day or your week or your month, whatever. And the next thing you notice is that next week's goal was last week's goal. Next month's goal was, was last month's goal. And you're not really getting no hedgeway, right? So be in control of your time. So that means clearly defining that, you know what, I'm going to time block or I'm just going to focus, or today I'm going to do these three things, these four things, or these five things, and I'm not going to, my day's not going to end till it's done. Whatever you got to do to remove the distractions, to remove the wall, to remove the blinders so you can get to where you need to go, that's what you need to do, and that is step number four. Now, to add a bonus step number four, right, just again, just again, some clarity, is take control of your time and your personal life and business. And we did talk about that, but I just wanted to deliver the information so it would be a little bit more clear. So making sure that you're taking control of your time to do things on the personal side, but then also on the business side, and that you're really maximizing your time and getting it all done. And like I said, that is step number four to be a renegade millionaire. Step number five, accurate Thinking. What is accurate thinking? This one I found very, very interesting in the book. So accurate thinking is this. A lot of us actually project our thoughts onto um, the thing. So for instance, let's say you booked a call with a client. You're not really sure how it's going to go, right? Let's say you just got off the call with a client and it didn't go well. So now you booked this new call, you had this new call, so an inaccurate thought was to assume how this new call is going to go. And we do this all the time with friends, with family, with work with clients, services, everything. We sometimes project our outcome before the outcome even happens, and as a result, it triggers us or makes us act a certain way. When accurate thinking is actually having no restrictions, right? No expectations, just taking everything along as it comes and just allowing things to be as they are, and you really maximizing opportunities. So same example, if you approach that potential uh, meeting or appointment with the client, you didn't have any regard for how it went previously. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to come. I'm going to break it. I'm going to bring it. I don't have no expectations that I'm going to deliver. You're more likely to close that client and get them into your product or your service than you would if you project it inaccurately by thinking and bring an energy that had no need and no business being right here, right now at the place we actually have an appointment. All right. So that is number five. So number six, create a competition-free zone. What is creating a competition-free zone? Well, if you guys read another book called The um, Blue Ocean Strategy, in this book, it basically talks about how there's really nothing new under the sun. Everyone is doing the same thing. We're all doing the same thing. There's no category that, for the most part, is, is a solo category. There's always going to be competition, right? So how you differentiate yourself? You differentiate yourself, you differentiate yourself by creating a composition-free zone. So in The Blue Ocean Strategy, is really create your blue ocean and whatever your product, service, or category is in. Most people, most businesses copycat. So they all just contributing to a red ocean. So if you're looking around in the market, you're looking around at your competitors, what are they doing that you can do differently, that you can bring your, your sauce, your spice, um, your personality on your flavor, your genius? Uh, what can you do that will differentiate yourself in the market, what value can you up? What value can you bring that will set yourself apart? Is it the branding? Is it your ads? Is it the commercial? Is it you as a business owner? Is it your team? What can you do that will separate you? And that is really creating a competition-free zone. So we create a blue ocean or a competition-free zone, guess what? There is no competition. 
you're the only competition. And if you're the only competition, that means there is no competitors in your way. So it's really just you versus you and up to you to take your business to the next level, scale, get more clients, get more sales, sell more products, right? So always think about creating a competition-free zone and whatever you have going on. That's number six. And number seven, invest less, implement more. So a lot of you guys are like, well, what does that mean? Invest less, implement more. Well, a lot of you guys, when you, when you think about uh, creating more income, when you think about um, scaling, when you think about um, going to the next level, maybe even getting to your monetary goals, a lot of us go outside of the thing and create a whole nother income. We don't look at where we're currently at, where we're currently making money, and now we can diversify that. So let me give you an example. If you have a program, let's say your program costs 5K, right? Well, what if you made a mini course on a 5K program, and now you have the 5K program and an entry-level program at like 1,000 or even 2,000? But it's the same information. You just scaled it back. Now you have two products. What if you scaled it back even more and you made a $47 ebook or $99 continuity product or something like that? All you did now was take one product and you diversified it and then you niched it down, but it's the same information. You just repackaged it and delivered it a different way. So you didn't go out of your thing. You found ways to um, invest less and implement more currently in your business model, right, with your product or your service to diversify horizontally to create more opportunities for you to make money doing the same thing in the same category. And this one is very, very important and it's also super powerful. So The Renegade Millionaire, I'm gonna leave the link below. I definitely recommend you guys read it. It's a quick read, it's an easy read. If you like Audible, it's a quick two hours. You're in and out, but the information is powerful. Using these seven Renegade Millionaire strategies will help you position yourself to make your first million dollars this year or as soon as possible. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know what you think. Will these strategies help you? They can't hurt you, but how do you feel about it? Leave a comment below, like, share, comment. I really, really appreciate you guys for tapping in and watching the video, and I will see you guys on the other side. Wait, 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 hold up. One more thing. If you're interested in joining my mastermind and Talk Money Tuesday TMT Wealth Club, make sure that you click the link below. You get access to learning directly from six, seven, and eight figure earners as they do master classes twice a week. And you get access to the playback and you learn the A to Z steps it took them to do the thing that they're looking to do. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.